Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I just thought I'd do a quick overview of my miniature tool um, collection. I've recently added a few more into, into the uh, collection, so I just thought I'd show you. And um, for some reason, every time I see a small miniature tool, I don't know what it is, but I just gotta have it. So the reason why I started collecting them was when I first saw this miniature King Dick, and I just thought, wow. And if you look, it's, it's actually three inches, three inches long miniature dick. And I just thought, wow. So, so that was it then, I was hooked. Um, and the next thing I got is this, this Valiant, was it Pennant? No, Pennant, um, made in England wrench, but somebody's over it and spread the jaws like a doofus, but yeah. That was covered in red, red rusty when I got it, but I've cleaned it up and it looks nice now. I got myself um, a four inch, a four inch uh, backhoe. Um, let's have a look at the number on it. That was the right way around. Four inch steel backhoe, 0669 Sweden, which they probably still make, but I bought that on the car boot for 50p. And we've got a made in Germany, uh, three and three quarter inch just under four inch made in germany perfect handle screwdriver so that was a bit of fun we got a miniature pet set of of um needle nose pliers these are wilkinson's which is an english brand and they are um four and a half inches four and a half inch and then we got a small um uh, more and right divider um, and they are three and a half inch three and a half inch and then a miniature uh, tool clamp um, and that is two inches so a miniature tool clamp um, and then this is probably this is me probably my favorite recently is a miniature sliding t-square and um and it tightens down and i just think that is amazing so that is two inch by two and a quarter inch so two and a quarter inch miniature t, t square sliding bevel square whatever you call it and um, we've also got here um a more and right sheffield micrometer and that is three and a half inch and we've got a one and a half inch miniature um, plum brass plumb bob. So I just thought I'd do a quick overview of my growing miniature tool collection. For, it's very addictive and every time I see one I'll pick it up. Um, so there's nothing here what's cost more than two pounds. So there's not expensive but hard to find to get the miniature ones. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like these sorts of videos, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.